Hey, hey guys, so here was the review I was hyping up uh, on the video, uh, and it is the Iron Man Mark II Armored Unleashed version. Uh, I believe this came out this year. Ooh, text. Um, pretty awesome thing. Uh, pretty awesome is actually an understatement. This thing is amazing. Um, and so it should be for the price tag. Uh, I'm going to run through a couple of accessories first before I go through the actual figure itself. Um, so I'll show you all the boring stuff. Uh, so it comes with this stand here. And you can see there it says Mark II Armand Unleashed. Well, it would do if it wanted to focus, but anyway, also says the Iron Man 2 on there as well. Uh, and that is an adjustable cradle. And obviously it comes out as well, so. And that was actually me trying to adjust it and failing it, but I managed to transition it into a making it look like I meant to do that. So that's that. Uh, a couple of other items, as you can see on the box there. It is a sign to exclusive, and that means obviously you get uh, one more item that you wouldn't normally get with the standard version, and that is this. Uh, this isn't anything too wow, I can't really use it with anything just yet, but it is obviously Tony Stark's hand when he's trying out the, well the idea I guess. So, obviously this is all removable, you can detach it from the hand. Oh no, it's rather cool. So that's that. Uh, on top of that is the final thing, uh, which is these. It's just some normal fists, which of course uh, aren't adjustable now. The reason why these aren't that exciting is because uh, of what we'll get into in a minute uh, with regards to his articulation. So. There's those, and that's really it for accessories. Uh, it comes with a few more, but obviously I don't want to give away this whole review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this box to the side, I'll switch the lights on, and we can get going. Okay, and here it is, the Iron Man Mark II Armoured Unleashed. Now at the moment, obviously it just looks like the normal Iron Man, uh, because obviously the interchangeable parts haven't been removed. Uh, I'm just going to show you this as a breakdown first. So as you can see, obviously it's got the light-up features. As you can see on the chest there, and as I portrayed in the little sneak peek video, it's also got in the eyes. Now obviously this isn't so noticeable uh, with these lights being on, but you get the point. He's also got some in his hands. Just move you over there. And finally, you don't know what it's focusing on there, because it's the back wall. Uh, and finally he's got a light up base. Uh, the base I absolutely love, this is a stand I use, like I said, you have got this other one to use with it. Um, but, to be honest, when you've got this one, I don't understand why you'd use that. So, really awesome. Give you a good old look at the whole figure. So, really awesome figure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to detach it from the base now. Uh, well, I'll show you how to turn all these lights on. Now, the light at the back, the light is, uh, sorry, the switch is at the back of this one, so that's how you turn it off from there. And also, there is a clip just around his waist that you can see there. It's quite a bulky little thing. You just unclip that and remove it. Now, to turn these lights off, because I won't keep them on during the whole thing, is there's a little switch here. All you need to do is just click on that, it turns that hand off. And over here, you've got another one. You just click that. And on the back, we've got another one, which is just there. Oh my god, I just cut myself on it. Oh my. There we go, and that turns that chest off. And final one is on the back here, on his neck. So you just slide that off. And here we have the Mark II. Really fantastic looking figure. Uh, really chuffed I got this one to start me off. So as you saw on the back, we'll go through uh, the things that it does. As you can see, it has got its air brakes on at the moment. This is how I've got it posed uh, on my table. So you just push these down. They fold away quite nicely. They're fairly fragile. And that's the rear panel put away. Now, like I said, with those other hands, I don't understand why they've put those in. Because you have got the articulated fingers here. Uh, so as you can see... It just bends at each point. And same again on the thumb. The thumb's got a small ball joint there. And then obviously it's got the second part. 
So you can just put it into the fist that you get with the figure like so. So it's pretty articulated. As for the head, obviously you've got a ball joint there, and you've also got a second section here, which twizzles. And on the arms you've got, obviously, all the standard articulation, pretty much ball joints everywhere. Uh, the hands are a little bit limited, you can't quite do the full art reactor, um, but, well, the palm thing, but you can get a fairly good pose with it. Uh, he has got waist articulation, and hips, knees, and of course ankles. So that's pretty awesome. So alongside uh, the articulation, obviously you've got a few sections that do bits on his body. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna try and get a good view of that. So if you just pull this out, like so, and you do the same again with this side. So you just grab it there, pull it a little bit. And what you do is pull this back and then forward. And what you've got there is a little wrist launcher. Which is really awesome. So the detail on that is amazing. And also you've got some detail inside as well. They've really not skipped out on anything here. So that one just shuts up and it's like it doesn't even happen. So that's really cool. And on this side, you've got the chance to, what you can do is pull this out and as you can see just there, they've got another one. Little missile, and all you need to do is pull that one out. I won't do that for now. Uh, it's a bit of a long-winded procedure, but you can see what else it does. So, if you just move this, if you move his hand to the right or to the left, whichever way you're looking at it, then roll this bit out, and then inside there, just a little plastic, painted like metal section there, a little mesh. And then if you just pull this bit out as well, and move his arm back. And what you've got there is a little shield that he used uh, against Iron Monger. And also fantastic detail in there as well. So you can just pull that back in. Sorry. Pretty awesome they included that, they didn't have to. Uh, it's not something that we saw when Rhodey used it, but still they included that, so that's really awesome. I mean, you can really use this as the Mark II, uh, or obviously the Armand and Leash Rody version. And on the back here, on the legs, we have got some sections where we can just lift these flaps up. Ah, well, great flaps, and as you can see in there, I don't know how well it will pick it up, but there is the assembly. And the mechanics all inside it, so you can see all the wires there. So really, for a bits and bobs that it does on this section, that's really about it. Uh, what I'll do is I shall remove this head, because this is a light up head, it comes with three different heads. Uh, so I'll remove this one and show you the roadie version. Okay, so here is the roadie head. Now I'm sure you're kind of looking at that and going, that's the exact same helmet that I had a few seconds ago. It's actually not. Uh, this one doesn't have the light up feature in it, uh, but it does do some pretty awesome things. Now it's exactly the same size as the light up one. Uh, there's no difference, it's not been made thicker or anything like that to accommodate the roadie head. So it doesn't look out of place, it's exactly the same size. However, obviously, if you move this jaw piece down and you get this metal face plate, which I'll go into now actually before we put it onto the helmet itself, because otherwise we'll waste the detail, but here's the inside of the helmet. And you see a fa fantastic looking thing, you can see the two magnets up top, but... Oh, absolutely fantastic and what you do is there's two magnets at the top of his head you can't see him too well but you just pop it up top and there you go there is your roadie hell well roadie head sculpt or John Don Cheadle I think his name was if it just like to focus for me there we go an absolutely fantastic looking head sculpt that really managed to get the eyes captured well. 
He's got a lot less angry expression than uh, the one that you'd get with the War Machine, uh, which I don't really have much of an intention to picking up, to be honest. It's just because I like the Mark II so much. I'll pick this one. So that's really awesome. Like I said, all you do is just pop this down and close the mouth, and it's back to the way it was. So that's really uh, the main figure. Obviously, this isn't the unleashed section, um, but we'll get into that in a second. So let's just give one last all-over look at this guy. Cause it takes a little while to take it all in. Uh, see, you can see this articulated anchor. Uh, well toes there which is really awesome really got all out on this guy and there's the back as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unassemble this guy and uh, put him on his table that he comes with as well and we can have a look at the armour unleashed <laughs> 